What is up guys and welcome back to the John Q channel. Thanks for watching. In today's video, I want to go over my top five everyday carry pistols that live in my rotation of everyday carry. Some pistols I carry a lot more and others I don't carry as often, but they do live in the rotation of my everyday carry. Now, if you've been a follower of this channel, you know that one of my very first everyday carries was this, the Glock 43X Gen 5. Well, technically I don't think there's a Gen 5 just yet, but it does have front and rear serrations. Uh, it's got a smooth grip but this is not the MOS, which is the only thing that I don't like about this. Well, the other thing that I don't like about it is that it comes with 10 rounds. I wish I had the 15 round magazine, but it is what it is. And before we begin, of course, this gun and all the other guns being shown in this video are being safe, cleared, and empty by me. I verified twice, so you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, this Glock 43X has been with me for about three, I believe, uh, maybe even four years now. I've carried the 43X the longest, and I like it so much because it's small, it's compact, and it's very slim. Like, if you see that grip, and depending how big your hand is, you just bear hug that grip, which is, I mean, to me, really, really good. Just holding it with one hand, it feels like home. It, it just feels phenomenal in the hands. Like I said, the downside, it's not the MOS version, only has 10 rounds, and you can't attach a flashlight. Well, I guess you technically could, but I like the pick rail instead of kind of this smooth, smooth edge here. I still have the stock sights and they have not failed me. I do think though, this front sight is just slightly bending to the left. And for that reason, I do have to change out both of those sights. And the fact that it's so slim and fits really well on my body in a holster, just 10 out of 10. Next, hey guys, quick interruption here. Just wanna let you guys know about True Shot Ammo. If you're looking to get new ammo or even stock up on your ammo, make sure to use a link down below in the description and go to True Shot Ammo and get all the ammo you might need. To be totally honest, guys, that link down below is my personal link, which means when you click on it, you go to True Shot Ammo, order some ammo, it benefits True Shot Ammo, but also gives me a little bit of a kickback, which is just totally awesome and helps me create videos like this in the future. So no matter what kind of caliber you need or may want or just need to stockpile on ammo, make sure to use that link down below and visit True Shot Ammo. You guys are awesome, thanks for the support. Now let's get back to the video on the list is this, the Sig Sauer P365X Macro. Now this thing is a beast. Let this kind of be a nudge for all of you who want to get into the X Macro, you would need to go buy it. All in, this costs about $1,000. And the thing that I love about this Macro is that it honestly might even be slimmer than the 43X. And so it fits in my hand even better honestly than the 43X, which is wild to say, because the 43X is small, it's compact, all those great things. Now with the X Macro, you do get 17 rounds plus one, which means a total of 18 rounds, which beats the 43X by a landslide. They fit 18 rounds into this tiny, compact, sized handgun, which is just crazy. Of course, I got the Hollow Sun 407K on here. And the cool thing about this is that it comes with night sights, which is awesome. But also, the tip of the slide here has a compensator. It's got a two port comp, which does help immensely. It's not as snappy and does stay flat when you shoot it. It's got a pick rail here for any kind of flashlight that you want. The grip texture is solid. And when I go out to the range and I'm sweating a ton, I don't lose a grip on this pistol grip. The X Macro has lived in my rotation for about a couple of years now. And I gotta tell you, it's probably the first gun that I grab for when I go to everyday carry. Like this is probably my top favorite. I would probably give this a, a 10 out of 10 for sure. Moving on to the next everyday carry, this is the Glock 19 Gen 5. Of course, it's got a Trigicon RMR Type 2 and it does have the 15 round magazine. Still has the stock sights, which at some point I'll probably change out. It's got front and rear serrations. Of course, it's the Gen 5. The grip is fantastic. I mean, it's a Glock. It's the Glock 19 Gen 5. You can't beat that. It's reliable, it's rugged. The only thing that I'm not a big fan is that it's a little bulky, especially in the grip area right here. If I compare it to the X Macro, it's not as thin, but it's not very, very thick like a 17. 
it still feels really good in the hands. I will say when I everyday carry this pistol, because of its bulkiness, it tends to be a little bit more uncomfortable in like the three or four o'clock position. But if I'm carrying appendix, it's not as bad and it's tolerable. But for those of us who carry a gun every day, it's not for comfortability, it's for protection. And newly added to the collection of everyday carry is the Staccato CS. Now I have carried this a couple of times and the times that I have carried the 2011 Staccato CS, it's been okay. Now, surprisingly, I, I, I can't believe I'm saying that because I love the 2011 CS so much. Like when I'm carrying it every day, it tends to just because I mean you can you can see right, just like how tactical and how maybe not bulky, but there's just so many things going on with the CS, and so you feel all those things when you carry the gun. It's a little bit on the heavier side, but hey, it's a 2011 Staccato. What I mean. It's not gonna be a light gun. And I'm okay sacrificing that because, hey, I freaking love this gun. But overall, I'd probably give this like, I don't know, probably a good eight out of 10. I carry this without an optic on there. That will soon change. But overall, I mean, it's a solid pistol, but when you do carry it, just make sure that you know that it might be uncomfortable in certain areas. So kind of make sure that you can carry comfortably at like maybe 12 to one o'clock. I know for me, the three or four o'clock position does tend to kind of be like, ah, okay, it's scratching me. I'm sitting down. Okay, now it's kind of like hurting me. I mean, you could develop a little bit of a rash and it can hurt, but hey, suck it up, buttercup. Now, lastly, but not least by any means, this is the Hellcat Pro and it also carries 15 rounds plus one of the chambers, so a total of 16 rounds. Now, when I have carried the Hellcat Pro, um, it's very much like the 43X. It's very slim, it's very smooth, and it's compact. But the thing that I do like about the Hellcat Pro is that when you go to feel the actual pistol, it's very, very smooth. I don't know what Springfield Armory did, but it feels so smooth. The pistol grip is very thin. It's almost like an X macro, but even thinner and a little bit better. <laughs> I, I would say it's not as aggressive as the pistol grip of the X macro, but it's still, when you go to present, I mean, it feels really good in the hands. And the cool thing about the Hellcat Pro is that it doesn't feel like a small pistol. Even though it is, it doesn't feel like it, which is, honestly probably a good thing for most people it's got a really good reliable trigger it's got a pick rail for any flashlight attachments and you can attach an optic if you want to now as far as comfortability i will say that this might be one of the more comfortable guns uh, in my rotation that i carry i carry this about three or four o'clock and with my holster it's very smooth it's very flat on my body it doesn't rough me up it doesn't scratch me i mean it's got smooth edges there are no sharp pointy things that are going to poke me or pinch me like the staccato cs but overall i'd probably rate this a good solid seven or eight out of ten so here's what i'm going to say in my rotation there's about five different guns and the thing with me is that i go out and shoot and train all the time with each of those guns so those are my five top everyday carry guns what are your guys please comment down below i would love to know what you guys carry all the time and with that being said guys thanks so much for watching i will catch you in the next johnny q video peace